good morning everyone i'm santoshini from mcw uh, so today this session i'm going to be talking about our proposed solution that improves on the existing uh, algorithm that uses histogram to detect scene change uh, in x265 uh, so, so this is a joint work uh, done by uh, dan and alex from comcast and ashok and uh, his team from multicoreware so the agenda for this session is going to be first i'll be providing a brief introduction on video codecs in general then i'll cover about uh, scene change detection uh, uh, the use cases of it and uh, the traditional algorithm also i'll be talking about uh, the traditional algorithm that we have implemented in x265 then in detail i'll be talking about our proposed solution which uh, uh, improves the existing histogram based uh, algorithm then finally we'll look at the experiments conducted and also i'll be uh, covering on the results and observation so uh, i'm pretty sure everyone here will be aware of what a video codec is it's essentially a software or a hardware that does compression and decompression the one that does uh, compression is the encoder and uh, the one uh, decompresses is the decoder uh, typically uh, any compressed data needs to follow a particular uh, encoding standard and these are normally lossy some of the most uh, commonly used uh, compression standards have been the mpeg ones like the avc hevc and the vbc ones uh, whenever a, a standard is established uh, the complex relationship between the uh, visual quality uh, the uh, the bit rate or in, in other words the video compression efficiency and the uh, uh, the complexity of the algorithms that we used uh, during encoding and decoding they are all well considered uh, so so what is a scene change detection a scene change detection is nothing but uh, the task of localizing uh, given uh, localizing the change when two scenes are given in a video sequence and categorizing them uh, these scene changes can be of uh, uh, two types basically like it could be an abrupt scene cut or it could be a gradual transition like the camera panning in panning out the vibes all, all those things uh, a scene change detection is essentially done uh, uh, prior to the actual encoding uh, during the uh, slice type decision basically uh, uh, scene change detection is uh, important in a uh, in a number of scenarios uh, overall it improves the compression efficiency but other than that uh, in video databases where indexing is important uh, uh, this uh, plays a vital role uh, other than that uh, it, it it helps to extract uh, high level semantics that are useful in error concealment techniques many algorithms have been devised to uh, detect scene changes uh, some of them uh, use histogram of the current frame to detect scene changes so x265 uh, we've been hearing this x265 uh, for um, in many presentations so it's one of the uh, most commonly used uh, hevc compliant encoder uh, it's been integrated to many popular frameworks like the uh, the ffmpeg gstreamer handbrake and so on even in x265 we have the scene change detection algorithm uh, and it's uh, been implemented during the slice type decision uh, module uh, here what we do is uh, we compute the satd cost sum of absolute transform difference uh, between frames and uh, use a threshold value to detect if there is a scene change or not um, like i told earlier scene change could be a abrupt uh, scene cut or it could be a transition so different so to differentiate that we actually compute the average satd cost of uh, consecutive frames and identify if it's a, a, a sudden change or a transition and accordingly we insert i frame or p and b picture uh, i mean i frame when when we have a scene cut uh, an abrupt scene cut and uh, uh, during transition we uh, insert p or b picture uh, to increase the compression efficiency overall this is the flow chart of our proposed solution uh, so uh, the first thing uh, that we need to do is uh, divide the frame into different segments and for each of the segments we need to compute segment level statistics like the histogram variance and the average pixel intensity other than that we also need to compute a, a segment level threshold this threshold makes use of both the luma and chroma variance and does a uh, uh, weighted average along with the pixel intensity once we have all the metrics ready uh, we move on to the decision making so here what we do is uh, we compute the uh, absolute difference between the uh, histogram of uh, current segment in the current frame and uh, the histogram the uh, the average histogram of the frame if the if this difference is more than the segment threshold that we have computed it actually points out that there is an abrupt uh, 
uh, change in the scene. If there is no, if, if it is lesser than the threshold, then there is no uh, change in uh, scene. We update the uh, overall moving average of the frame and uh, we move on to the next frame. In the case where we observe an ab abrupt change in the scene, uh, again, we need to differentiate uh, between the scene transition and the actual scene cut. For that, what we do is we uh, consider a window of uh, three frames, past, current, and the future frame. We compute an absolute intensity difference between the current and the past and also between the uh, past and the uh, future. In the case where uh, uh, the difference of uh, the absolute intensity difference of past and uh, current is less and uh, the absolute intensity difference of uh, uh, current and future is high, there is an actual scene change or a scene cut. Otherwise, it's just a, a, a scene transition. So I'd like to re-highlight uh, uh, the improvements that we have done over the existing histogram-based algorithm. Uh, so we, uh, instead of just using the histogram of the frame, we also compute other values like the pixel intensity and uh, the, uh, the variance of the frame. Also, we use a sliding window of uh, three frames, uh, um, in the current, future, and the past, so that we can eliminate the case of uh, scene transition being uh, detected as a scene change. Also, uh, the other important aspect of the algorithm is we divide the frame into uh, uh, nine regions uh, uh, and compute uh, segment level or the region level uh, values. Higher the number of regions, higher is the reliability of the algorithm. but if we keep increasing the number of regions, we end up uh, uh, doing a lot of computation. So we need to play a, uh, um, I mean, we, we need to arrive at a good trade-off between the two values. Th so through experimentation, for the case of a 1080p sequence, uh, uh, the uh, optimum number of regions uh, was derived as nine. So this is our experimental setup. Uh, we actually uh, used both uh, 1080p 8-bit and uh, 4K 8-bit uh, sequences in X265. Uh, we ran CRF uh, uh, encodes from 24 to 27 for medium preset uh, and random access configuration with an intra period of 250 frames. Uh, in order to uh, um, enable histogram-based scene detection, we have to add hyphen hyphen uh, hist hyphen scene cut as an additional option to the, uh, um, uh, the traditional scene detection algorithm is enabled by default, so in that case, we don't have to add anything additionally. So this is the video uh, sequences that we have used, uh, 1080 and 4K, uh, FPS ranging from uh, 25 to 60, and uh, uh, length of the sequence from um, 30 seconds to 10 minutes. So the result, if we observe the result here, uh, uh, we have actually computed the actual number of scene cuts that are uh, present in the video manually and compared that against the scene cuts that were detected uh, uh, using the existing, the traditional algorithm uh, in X265 and the histogram, uh, the proposed one. We can see that the histogram-based uh, uh, scene detection algorithm was almost able to identify all the scene cuts in the uh, video. And uh, it was also able to provide a gain of around 0.1 to 0.5 percentage. Uh, we conducted another set of experiments to measure the F1 score. F1 score is an uh, AML evaluation metric that uses both uh, precision and recall to uh, overall measure the effectiveness of the algorithm. Uh, uh, we took two long sequences, like uh, 10 minutes to 50 minutes, uh, and uh, the histogram-based uh, uh, scene change algorithm showed higher F1 score, almost closer to 9.9, sorry. So to conclude, our histogram-based detection algorithm eliminates both false positive and false negative, and overall, it provides better compression efficiency compared to the traditional scene change algorithm in X265. Also, the precision or the accuracy of the algorithm is better compared to the existing al algorithm in X265. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, one quick short question.